who uh, his first seed was. I want to say... I can't remember, honestly. I'm going to look it up later. But well, I'm assuming this is probably winner's uh, quarters or semis, uh, semis for that qualifier. Well, we'll We're playing against Pokemon Trainer. Actually, another character, it is Winter's Quarters. Um, another character that does pretty well against Peach is the second iteration past uh, the 0 to 40% that you play Squirtle is that Ivysaur. Yes, yeah, definitely. Peach, very horizontal based, obviously looking for floats and you know, as a general approach option. Ivysaur just really cuts off that horizontal approach option with the Razor Leaf. Had some good action on the shield with the Nair as well. And you see right there, you know, oh, throwing out the toe to stop off the aggression there. Yep. Um, it, you need a Nolo fight flow, and those Razor Leaves help do that. But also just the short hop options of Nair, like, it, you have to respect it. Right, right, right. And what a few characters that can challenge uh, Peach Recovery, too. Oh, wow, the Dot Eye's coming in. Okay, so RNG is, is already beginning today. That's wild. The Dot Oh, what the heck? Wow, the, the see, and that's another thing that Ling is so solid at the accuracy with his turn up yes, throws, yeah. and you know and that's gonna put a lot of fear into Angel off the start. Two hundred percent. Now, like I didn't even realize he got the two hundred percent just from a few of those exchanges, but like wild stuff from Ling. Man. Well, luckily for uh, Angel, he didn't get hit by the grounded portion of that down tilt that could have led to big damage. Only taking twenty three percent. Bro, does he have his like pat like his bank password as his tag? What is it like? What ASAP Angel? <laughs> no, no. Like look at his uh, in game tag number. It looks like. What, the, what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the code you got to enter yeah, before right? you can get onto the site. That's yeah, the yeah, caption. Bro, I was going to say, <laughs> that's the caption. All right. Back at the ledge, though, so far, Ling has been so great with the turn pressure and the aerials. Wow. wow. Right there is what we were talking about before. Just throwing out a fake aerial to make you think that you can move and then hitting him with uh, the proper punish with the fair. Yep. Now, there's the back air to bait out the jump. He's just consistently getting Angel to react the way he wants. All right, but sneaking in a grab. Let's see. Squirtle, I don't know if that's the play right now. Especially, he puts you in such a rough spot when you have to switch. Oh, all right. Yeah, if Angel can, you know, all he needs is uh, one up air, and it'll delete Peach's stock. Peach being one of the lighter characters, doesn't get the jump into potential uh, confirm for that up B. All right, the Razor Leaves coming back, though. Ling trying to find in. Ends up getting the littlest nair. And what's the follow up? A sour spot back here as well. Not getting the grab. There you go, getting that Vine Whip, but unfortunately didn't get the sweet spot where he's looking for. It seems like ASAP Angel, oh, actually committed a little bit hard off stage. Like, all you need to do is just throw it out on the ledge. It two frames so well. Oh, he had the tech read, but gets him on the landing. There you go. I was so, going to say, you definitely have some room to play there. You know, Ling's got to get off that platform. Up here covers, like, the entire platform. So. Yeah, it's like every word that you think is above you, and he's going to cover it. Yep. Some good movement from Ling, forcing the jump, like you said. Sneaking in the back here, taking that stock. Now on his last is Angel. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to, he's finally trying to play the Squirtle. There he is. He's able to get on the damage he's looking for. Oh, no. We'll be seeing you. Oh, wow. Big Pokemon change. Yeah, luckily the small hurt box of Squirtle actually seemed to, to stop that combo because that would have been huge. Uh, no tech chase read option there. But Ling, again, at 50, you know, that whole stock up, he's w he's willing to commit a little bit harder to some of these hard read tech chases to rack up big damage because he's a full stock leader. Nice. I love Ling's aerial timing so much. So great. Oh, what the heck, bro, the Vine Whip. Getting the, yeah, that's all you need. Just get the, the ability for Ivysaur to kill so early is huge. And now Ling has to respect that. And now Ling forced to stay grounded because of these uh, Razor Leaves. All right, forward air breaking up the tension. Angel's getting, uh, getting a little too courageous there for the Ling Ling fans. Mm -hmm. Actually, ASAP, uh, what's ASAP Rocky? ASAP <laughs> Angel, uh, often to throw laser leaves when he was low, he could have potentially gone for a down air there. You got to make sure that you commit to keeping the pressure on Ling Ling there. And the back out, uh, crossing Ooh. up, doesn't matter because he's going to get hit by that side B. Uh, Ling that was loves it. playing off stage like that. That was dangerous, though. <laughs> if you miss that, you are in a rough spot mm -hmm. here, Ling. And that down air that we talked about earlier, like, would be huge. Ling is a mad scientist. I'm like, saying, like that could have been it for him, but he saw it and he just went for it. You know, I guess you know, Ivysaur doesn't really have a lot to do in that situation I after think, the jump. I think the thing is too, like prior to that, ASAP Angel was jumping high recoveries to the ledge a lot to snap the ledge vine whips. Like, all right, if you're going to keep going high, I'm going to yeah. just let you think that that's safe for a while. I'll be seeing you there soon. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, but I'll be meeting you at the party. Oh, like the, the just the Ling Ling cam. I like this. this just to zoom in on the Ling Ling. The Ling Ling is thinking. He's thinking oh, hard. Nice. He's a uh, he's. He's deep in thought. It's like, right. how can I get... Oh, he's thinking about banning. There it is. Blue okay. Battlefield. Oh, I thought he was trying to think of how can I zero to death. Because I feel like every time Link touches you, he's trying to find a way to zero de uh, zero to death. Now, if Angel can focus a little bit more on uh, playing the zoning game, 
a, where he was succeeding right. and then catching Ling approaching, it, he, it could definitely work out for him because it looked like the second stock who's starting to make those adjustments, especially with the big headboxes of Ivy Sword. All very good points. And I think Pokemon Stadium definitely could help as well. One of the more horizontal stages, horizontal based at least. Platforms could definitely help. So I can see the reason for going back. All in all, Really close game last game. You know, it looked like a Ling Ling show, but he's just keeping it close. Yeah, he's you know, even with the lead he had, he did bring it down to last stock. Right. And it looked like Ling was just comfortable the entire time. So it, the fact that he was able to draw that back, that's a positive going into game two. Exactly. Definitely something to think about. Oh, all right. Some good movement so far, but Ling's been a little more conservative this time. So you know what? Go do your razor lead and pull some turnips. Problem is, though, what an answer. Yeah, you know, you can only play patient for so long, and now Angel is like, all right, this is my opportunity to rack up the damage and start to get some momentum. And Bling has been the one that's been on the receiving end of it this yeah. time. Jeez, like he had one opportunity, and it was for a misplaced forward air, but now he's back on the offensive, evening it right back up. Hey, if the shot's there, you got to take it every time. Now he's, yep. Ling's going to dig deep. I, I like that stall with the down air, preventing him from uh, not only getting caught by that turnip, plus uh, stopping Ling's approach. Right, no bullet seed. I like the idea, maybe catch a high Peach Bomber or something. Yeah, I've decided to float up above over the Peach Bomber, like you said, definitely would have sniped it out. Pretty decent option at the ledge, too. Oh, all right, Tech J situation is gonna opt for the Razor Leaf neutral again. Throw some Lion Whips in there. Nice snare out of shield, we talked about that earlier. Yeah, he's doing, he's fade backing a lot, too. And there we go, he's actually opting to go to the ledge to drop the down area, and now Ling having a hard time getting back to stage. Yikes. Ooh, all right, though. Four air. Pretty good answer. This is something that all right, Ling's trying to reestablish this. Before in the first game, oh, doesn't need to reestablish. He's forced to go Charizard. Doesn't matter. No Flare Blitz for you, my friend. No, the downside of the Pokemon change there is got a lot of, a lot of time for Ling to make some calculations, rethink about his geometry class, you know? Oh, wow. Up air, up air. I <laughs> say geometry class. What is the circumference of uh, up air? Yeah. The entire stage, my friend. The entire stage. If not, very close to it. But fighting back, the toad coming in. I haven't seen a whole lot of toad, just enough. Some of it is. He's reserving it just enough. Like, you don't want to yeah. pull it out too much. Oh, good. Even for a two frame there with forward smash. But again, keeping himself staged with the, with the, the jabs there. He's trying to fake him out with a lot of these hitboxes to the ledge, but Angels. He, he, he's starting to notice that. He's staying a little bit more reserved. As you say that, though, he does get hit by the counter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said we didn't see enough total. It's, yep. it's coming out now. All right, big up air, though. It's so dangerous for Link. He just never a lot of things to do while landing, except a big back air through the Razor Leaf, apparently. I tried to catch him on the tether recovery there with that Nair. Uh, he was able to race by, Ooh. but you're not going to get an opportunity to push me away at that side beat. The forward air immediately coming in. I love that. Do the classic back air into the, the drop zone fear. Maybe the combo here. Switching to Ivysaur. Yeah, thank goodness for Pokemon Switch because yeah. that was a bad time incoming. Definitely. And honestly, still, I was worried after he switched to Ivysaur too. Still has a Parasol here. No big connection. Oh, yikes. Oh, it hit. that was actually the right idea, too, because yeah. that almost hit him through the, the Vine Whip. Ling is catching on to where the timing is. He's just missing. All right, and that Peach Bomber stays out for a deceptively long time, so if you're not familiar with it, like Angel may or may not be, definitely the, the last little hit will get you. Look at the ledge. Yeah, Angel's playing a little bit more aggressive at the ledge now, yep. too. He realizes that Ling likes to uh, come up with those rising fares. You know, he, li he likes to try and uh, sneak his way past you without playing a little bit too safe. Finally going for a roll there and actually ready to cover it. Good Razor. blood trapping. Finally connecting. Well, you know what's so funny? Razor Leaf is like, it's about the one that hits and not the 30 that don't. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. They still take up so much presence. Just know. being able to fade back with it and be relatively safe too. But he's going to get the roll read. It's not going to kill though. I feel like Ling was actually waiting for that switch yeah, down there. Definitely seemed like it. Is that really the voice actor? Yeah, oh, we don't talk about that voice actor. That's disgusting. We, we don't... Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't talk about male Pokemon trainer. Dash tag not going to hit, but that perfect freeze frame. The back air. I love... You, Daisy does like a little wink when she does it, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Peach does, but... I was a fan so of when... Yeah. Um, the cakes get the job done. Yeah. Getting the back air out of shield there. Trying to there go for a cross is. up there. He's trying to bait out maybe a jump to rack on damage, but yeah. Ling remained grounded. Like, that was a big thing that happened throughout the set, is that exactly. once he had a large lead, he never overcommitted unless he saw an opening where Angel was getting scared. Yeah. 